you can't see it. You can't smell it and you can't taste it. But if radon gas is in your home, it could cause you to get very sick. Radon is a radioactive gas and it's emitted from the soil that can seep into homes and buildings through cracks. Inhaling it has been linked to lung cancer. In fact, radon gas is the leading cause of lung cancer in non smokers in our country. And in North Carolina alone, 450 people die of radon induced lung cancer every single year. Now I want to show you this is the map that the EPA has of the radon zones. While the zones help local and state agencies figure out where to spend their resources for awareness and change and building codes, elevated levels of radon gas they say can be seen and every every single county in our state. Now the state has a fact sheet and an action instruction for every county. For example, I pulled up Guilford counties. Every resident they say needs to test their indoor air every single two years. And if you have a private well, the water needs to be tested as well. Radon, uh, which is a colorless, uh, odorless uh, gas that uh, could be present in any of our houses, uh, also can go undetected and should test your house. Uh, for radon um, to make sure that you don't have high level of radon. Well, the state partners with the National Radon Program Service so that you can get a radon testing kit and get those results. Now, the short term kit, 17 bucks, it's going to test for radon for two to 90 days. The long term kit is $27 and tests for over 90 days. And this is the one the CDC says the longer the test, the better to tell your year round average radon level. The test kits often look like this, okay? They're just little round things and they take in all of the air particles. There are several different styles out there. Basically, you open up the test, you leave it in one room of the house. I'll have the link to the test kits and the information from the state so that you can check your county's action steps as well.